Everyone okay? Hmm. Hey, get your man. He got away. Huh. About time we made our escape too. Hmm. Personally, boss. <laughs> Take Aerith and get out of here. Hmm. I'll buy you guys some time. I can stay here. Back you up. Barrett. I'm asking you. Please. Well, fine. Have it your way then. But you better be right behind us. A soldier, aren't you? Which, of course, would mean that I own you. <laughs> Ex soldier. I quit. Secure the others. <laughs> hmm. Just the two of us. Well, maybe three. Let's get this over with. No, sir. All right, Rufus, baby! You know, new Final Fantasy VII players will be like, Who is this? Who is this? Who is this guy? But, of course, we all know. He's going to be accompanied by his dog, of course, which is Darkstar. A military canine serving as Rufus's personal bodyguard dog or something. A one-off breed specially enhanced by Shinra's R&D division. It follows its master's orders without hesitation and will die to protect him. All attacks will only have a slight effect on the stagger gauge until its link with Rufus is broken. Speaking of which, Rufus Shinra. Shinra's vice president and the son of the president. He carries a custom-made shotgun and is protected by Darkstar, a military canine. Standard physical and magic defense have, attacks have no effect on the stagger gauge. However, hitting him with a certain attack when his guard is down will instantly stagger him. So, Settle down now. this can actually be a little bit tough because, well, you're by yourself, which is why I actually equipped Cloud with time materia so that he can haste himself up when the time is right. Bring it. Darkstar will often imbue him with uh, a whole bunch of magic to to unleash Thunderclap. He'll follow up his attacks and vice versa. He always has the assist on him, so that's something. And oh yeah, interruption, baby, interruption. Yeah, <laughs> I always love it. I always love it. So the best way to go about this is basically just a literal touch and go situation. Until your ATB is filled up. 
Right. That way you can cast regen. No so back. hopefully you can mitigate some of the damage. To me. God, he's so cool. <laughs> okay, when he reloads, that basically means that you have your opportunity to stagger Dark, Dark Star because that will cause the link to be broken up. And bada bing! Bye bye, boy! Understood. Okay, bye. Got my number? Not at all. You're making me sweat. Good thing I came prepared. That's a new trick. Like it? Of course you do. Alright. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you didn't even do that stuff in the original game, dude. So, once again, while Rufus is reloading, that's your opportunity to attack him. And if Darkstar is still alive by this by this point, then uh, you need to break that link, like, really quickly. Okay. Stagger him. Bright lights. And, uh, die. Now it's just the two of us. <laughs> Let's make it a night to remember. It's on for real now? Yeah. You should be honored. I am honored. <laughs> Oh, what? Hey, 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 buddy, you're reloading. You're reloading. That's cheating. That's cheating. You can't do that. Uh, up in smoke. So this this will temporarily stun you. So uh, watch out for that. Okay, there we go. There you go. That's, 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 yep. He can shoot. He can, he can dash with his guns. Yep. Because Namora really likes, really loves his style, doesn't he? Yeah, he do. Guns akimbo. So, this is probably like the easiest attack to, well, this is the easiest attack to guard against. And basically, it's basically guaranteed whenever he uses guns, guns akimbo, whatever it is. That's uh, your golden opportunity. Uh, what do I do? Oh wait, limit break. Limit, 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 limit. Gotta give it my all. Limit breaks. Very thankfully. Hey yo. Limit breaks. Very thankfully. Uh, are not affected by reload at all. So that's amazing. Whatever. He also has another attack called Tread Slowly, which he'll use electrical mines around the field. Okay, wait for him to reload again. And that you do. Brace yourself. I could end this here and now. No, not quite. Tonight marks a new beginning for Shinra. better than this if you're gonna play the hero <sighs> think they can manage on their own 
You've seen them both in action. You know they can. Besides... <gasps> what was that? <sighs> Gotta believe they made it out. I hope so. Damn it. Hey. Screw it. We gotta go pay. Hey. What, Red? Get down! Uh. We're cool. Everything's cool. Ah! Uh. Uh, Barrett! Uh, 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 not again! You can't stop me! For Biggs! For Jesse! Tifa! And Barrett too! I'm sorry, Cloud. Just tell me that that I made a difference. <laughs> hey, still in one piece? Yeah, somehow. Hmm. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! They put up that menu pump for a reason. Steel doesn't matter anymore. We're gonna put assess on Barrett because we still need to assess. And uh, we need to have the basic elements covered. So we need to have wind material. We, we basically need to have all four basic elements in here because we got to fight against a classic. Ah, uh, that does a lot. <laughs> the arsenal. We're we're not in the era of turn-based battles anymore. So this is not in an elevator. An autonomous mobile mobile weapons platform manufactured by Chinra's Advanced Weaponry Division. It is armed with an extremely powerful cannon on its right arm and rotary cannons on its left. Equipped with cutting-edge combat AI. It calculates the most efficient method of annihilating its targets based on the situation. While it runs an elemental defense protocol, attacks of those elements will only have a slight effect on the stagger gauge. Its stagger gauge is not affected at all when its barrier is online. Which means you gotta deal with the barrier drones. So, basic and to the point, it looks like it's trying you to need to destroy that right arm like every time so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be doing haste on Aerith because she's the one that has the most magic damage out of all of us of course and of course I want haste on uh, Barret too so you can destroy those guys all by yourself if you want to but we're going to be sticking with using Missouri? thunder on those guys on the main cannon. Too bright? Uh, this is going to be... Huh. This is going to be close. Nope. 
not close enough. It probably will do you some good to actually have Thundaga on your side rather than... Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Jeez. Okay, Thunder, please. All right. It's not doing enough, my God. Okay, there we go, there we go. Just enough. I really need Barret's A to B to be up there. <laughs> so that's basically when uh, Barret will act. Red 13 will activate Sidewinder. You know, the ice planet. Cool, what is that like? It's a planet made entirely out of ice. It's really heckin' cold. Block the homing laser. And uh, I really need to get Herod's, uh, Herod's, Barrett's A to B up there. And I also need regen on, like, everybody, like, yesterday. Okay. Dundara will do some good. There we go. I swear for that. Okay. There we go. I thought it was, I thought Red was going to do that to B, not C. <laughs> that would be stupid and ridiculous. Okay, everybody needs to haste up right away. Because they need to renew that. Okay. And now for the big boy. Dundaga. Let's test it out. There we go. This is probably the fight where you're going to be using the most magic. So having yourself a turbo ether party will definitely do you some good. All right. Now it's going to go on all wheels. Hot wheels time, baby. Okay, so now it's going to charge up. You can attack the wheels in order to cripple in order to cripple the arsenal. Of course, they're all shielded, so that means nothing good. Watch out for the uh, bolts on the on that discharge attack. Okay, uh, I'm gonna actually. Use thunder because normally, under normal circumstances, the arsenal will be weak to uh, thunder. Okay, it's pressured, so uh, just wail on it. Okay, there we go. Focus shot. There we go. Now lightning defense protocol. So now lightning attacks will have barely any effect on it at all, which means you're gonna have to go for the wind skills because lightning's weakness is apparently wind for some reason I'm gonna use an elixir and this should nope okay now now there we go there we go okay there we go now uh, let's uh, do the no we can't do that yet Okay, Ray of Judgment. One more shot. And, uh, hmm, Maximum Fury. Get him, oh, yes, sir. All right, same story as before, except this time we actually have a limit break, ooh. Okay, planet's protection, ready to grow, <laughs> is ready to roll. Daruk's protection, baby, all right. Uh, haste on Barret. he needs it. Primary fire, so the cannon is back again. Hide, hide behind some debris for this, in order to dodge it. Homing laser again, okay. Uh, get it with the laser. 
<laughs> Alright, so that will cause it to get pressured. That way you can cripple the wheels if you want to. In fact, let me actually do that. Pulse cannon. Hide behind debris for this. Uh, get your haste up, Aerith. Oh, it's still doing it. Pulse cannon will unfortunately destroy the debris, so... Yeah. The firewall. So, now you can barely escape from it. All right. Just keep on casting thunder at it, and you might possibly be okay. Again, this might be the this might be the fight where you might use magic the most. Yeah, you might actually use magic the most in this fight because of the sole fact that you're going to be exploiting a lot of enemy weak a lot of the weaknesses here. Okay. Uh, that's actually what okay. Good to know. Good to know. Maximum fury. Oh, that damage output is gonna be so rad. Uh, sorcerer storm. Do it again. I'm going to storm you, and then storm you again. <laughs> Ooh, obliterating laser. Uh, 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 get out of the way of it. Stay back. I'm gonna block that. Thankfully, it's only targeting Aerith. Okay. Uh, cure on Aerith, please. Sorry about that. Okay. Moving on to the next phase. Cry havoc. This, doesn't look good. this is the yeah, ultimate yeah, attack yeah. that it has. Cover behind debris. Cover behind debris. And, yep. <laughs> Looks like we might not be able to see Barrett's uh, level two limit. Yeah, we might not be able to see it after all. I was kind of hoping that we could, but if we can't, then we can't. We can't hide. What do we do? Stop its attack. Okay. Um. Aerith? I mean, if we can hit it long enough, then maybe we can actually see the limit. Please let us see the limit. Please let us survive this. I really want to let you see this limit break. It's actually really cool. Uh, never mind. We can't. <laughs> Damn. Does it feel good to be alive? Quiet, but we could still die later tonight. Yeah. Cloud and Tifa could be dead already. The hell they are. Then we need to find a way we can all escape, and quickly. You're right. Let's go. Gotta do now is find the others.
We have them surrounded, sir. Yes, I can see that. It was only a matter of time. Here we are. <laughs> so then, what is this ragtag group of misfits I see before me? Avalanche! Local florist! Lab rat dog. <laughs> and where are the rest of you? Up your ass! <laughs> Charming, though not what I would have chosen as my last words. Secure the ancient, but feel free to kill both the idiot and the dog. Aerith, you saved my Marlene. Now, it's time I return the favor. Wait! Hmm. <laughs> 